Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here today, my name is Helen and a huge, huge welcome to you all. Today we're doing a sheen haul, but it's not my usual sheen haul. Um, what started out as being a clothing haul ended up being much, much more as I was distracted and headed from one department on the website to another. And because the order got a little out of hand, I am going to have to do this uh, video over two parts. So this first part, I want to share with you items that I bought from the homeware section, uh, men's accessories, beauty, and so on. So and the second video, which I will upload next week, will be the clothing haul. So uh, we do have several items to get through today. If you do enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so and hit the notification bell so you know next time I upload a new video. Okay, lots to get through. Let's get started. Okay, so the first item I purchased was this magnifying mirror and the reason I bought this was because I wanted something small that I could travel with because look my eyesight's not what it used to be and it's a little bit difficult sometimes when you go away um, to apply eye makeup or you know do your hair anything really um, if you haven't Got your I mean, everything else is easy, but putting eye makeup with glasses on is a little bit challenging. So usually I travel with this. I know, don't laugh. And I thought, you know what? I need something a little smaller. That's taking up way too much room in my um, suitcase. So I bought this mirror and it's got little suction caps at the back so you can actually attach it to the mirror in the bathroom where you're staying um, and it's tw a 20 times magnification so oh god okay so it's at a distance i can't see a thing as i bring it closer Okay, so this is how close I need to get to it to be able to see what I'm doing. Oh my God, that doesn't leave much room, does it? Okay. Okay. I'm not too sure I'd recommend this. I mean, it's great. I mean, close up, it's great. I can see so so clearly but um i don't know that it leaves me much room between the mirror and my face to apply any makeup so yeah i might have to try that out and um isn't that silly that you have to get so so close up to it way too close okay we'll see how we go we might end up taking the big one after all. So the second item I purchased was this eyelash curler. And I'll be honest, I haven't used an eyelash curler in probably over 30 years. And that's because every time I used to try and use it, I used to pinch my eyelid. And they, they actually scare me. And the reason I purchased this one was because lately I've been... Um, watching a lot of um, YouTube videos and reading articles about how to apply makeup to give you a more youthful look. And I was thinking, well, maybe I should do a video where we actually try these techniques out together and see how we go. It's by no means going to be a get ready with me or a makeup tutorial because I know next to nothing about applying makeup. So um, it'll just be an experiment and we'll have a few laughs along the way, I'm sure. But one thing they recommend using is an eyelash curler. Now, 
to be honest, I don't know that I really need one because my eyelashes are quite curl. They curl anyway. But um, I thought I'd, I'd be brave and give it a go. So there's my eyelash curler. And oh, I forgot to mention what I paid for these items. Now, as I've mentioned several times in previous videos, there are always discount codes you can use on the Sheen website. So you never need to pay full price. But they, the full price is what I'll be quoting you today. Um, and you, that's the most you'll pay for anything. Um, and this is in Australian dollars. So the mirror was $13.95. So it wasn't cheap. So, yeah, I'm going to try that out. Um, later today and return it if I find that you know it's not working for me but these eyelash curlers were $2.95 and oh god there were so many eyelash curlers to choose from so I just picked the one whose handle I like most and that had like a faux marble effect on the, the little handle so that's why I chose this one so, um, yeah, that's why I bought this to use in that future video. Okay, so next I bought, and this was also for the intended makeup video. Um, this is a little set. It's a foundation and concealer brush. I paid $3.95. Well, I didn't pay $3.95 because I used a discount code, but um, it's listed uh, for $3.95. And the reason I bought this is because um, in the videos I was watching, it was saying um, you, you can really apply the, your foundation any way you prefer, whether that's using a sponge, and unfortunately, I don't enjoy using makeup sponges, so... Um, they suggested a foundation brush or even using your fingers if that's the way you prefer um, to apply it. So I thought, and nine times out of ten I do use my fingers because I, I just find it's quick and easy. Um, but I thought I, I would order a foundation brush. Oh, that feels, that actually feels lovely. So when I do the video, I will actually attempt using this. Um, oh, they're so lovely. They feel like really good quality. $3.95. Beautiful. So they're my brushes for the intended makeup video. Uh, that should be a blast. It'll probably be more of a comedy sketch than anything else, but let's have some fun with it. Okay, so next I bought this little perfume bottle, which I'll just say from the get-go, I thought was going to be a tiny bit bigger than this. But, you know, when you go out and you want to take your perfume with you, but, you know, the bottle's like... A great big heavy bottle and you think well you know I don't really want to be carrying that around in my purse and sometimes the purses we take out um, in the evening aren't big enough to to carry big bottles of perfume in so I thought what a great idea I've seen lots of people um, use this and demonstrate them on on YouTube videos and I thought you know what a great idea just fill this up with bit of perfume and take this out with you instead of carrying that you know huge bottle of perfume around so I'm, I'm actually going to try and fill it with you so you've got to take the little top off your perfume bottle and from what I can tell, and then you drop it, and you put that on there, and then you're supposed to press down, and it's supposed to fill 
Oh my God, I can just see this being an absolute bloody disaster. Hang on. I'm too scared to try it. I feel like I'm going to end up with perfume everywhere. So let's have a look. Oh, it works. It works. Oh. <laughs> How cool is that? And that's all you have to do. Just throw that into your, your purse or your little evening bag or whatever. Even to take to work, you know, because I like reapplying perfume when I'm you know, a few of you know I do volunteer work and I and I like to reapply during the day. Um, how much easier is it to throw that in your handbag instead of a great big bottle of perfume? Now this was $1.95. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. Lovely. Get yourself one of these. Okay, the next item I purchased was the this hair roller for $3.95. Now, I've seen so many people using these, and I have tried to actually... Like, I've got very curly hair, so I straighten my hair every time I wash it. But sometimes I just want a, just a little bit of a wave in it, and I have tried using the hair straightener, and unfortunately it's hit and miss with the hair straightener sometimes i manage it other times not so much so i thought you know what for 3.95 i'm going to give this a go so i got a pink one i think they come in pink white and blue and you just get whatever color you receive randomly you don't get to choose what color you want um so it comes with little instructions. I am going to use this later today because I'm quite keen to see if it works. I mean, you see some women online and they, oh God, their hair looks gorgeous after they've used one. So what you do, I get two little scrunchies with it. It's got foam inside it. Okay. So what you do, you sit it on your head and you use one of those big clips, your hair clips to attach it. And then you roll, you get, you grab strands of hair and you roll it around this tube or whatever you want to call it. And then just attach the end of your hair with the scrunchie onto it. So that's their little instructions that come with it, which might show a little bit of a clearer picture of what I'm talking about. And, you know, her hair looks amazing after she's used it. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm actually going to try this as soon as I finish filming, but I will add the clip straight after this, following this. So, um, yeah, let's see if it's a win or a bit of a miss. I'm actually lo really looking forward. So all you do is you dampen your hair a little bit, put this on, leave it on. How long does it say? I mean, I know a lot of people sleep with these on, but I'm a side sleeper and there is no way in hell I would get any sleep with this thing attached to my head. So it says here to leave it on for three to six hours or overnight. Okay. Okay, I'll leave it on for the six hours and I'll take it out. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I've just put those rollers, that roller thing in my hair. Um, I didn't finish vi uh, filming till late because I did have two videos to film. So, and then we went out to dinner and we've just got back. 
I'm not sure whether I've dampened my hair enough um, or whether I've put it in correctly to be honest a little bit hard because my hair is a little bit shorter but um, I won't be able to keep it in quite as long as I wanted to because it is getting late so I will keep it in as long as I can and then um, I'll remove it and we'll see what the end result is okay so I did remove it ahead of time because it's getting really late and I want to get to bed um, so I only left it in for just on two hours which is below the minimum amount they recommend it did give me a bit of a wave and I can imagine that if I'd left it in the amount of time I was supposed to it would have you know curled even but that's quite pretty I like the the wave it's given me um, but I must admit I did find it really annoying um, to have in my hair um, yeah it was just it, it was bothering me I know it's a healthy way of curling your hair or putting a bit of a wave in your hair without using heat so that's a, a plus I imagine but yeah it's given me quite quite a nice little um wave to my hair um and yeah like I said I only had it in for two hours and they do recommend a minimum of three so yeah not bad okay so I needed um some new makeup purses travel travel makeup bags um because I threw the ones I had out they had seen better days and when I saw or you know me in cows and cow print items. I thought, how cute are these? This one was $7.95. And I bought this one to put like, you know, shampoos. Because um, I don't mind using body washes that are supplied in um, various accommodations but I find that um, unless the shampoos are little high-end samples my hair always ends up feeling like straw so I like to take my own um, shampoo and conditioner and any other toiletries in this little bag how cute is this so that one and this one was a little bit dearer. This one was $9.95, but I really like the shape of this one. How do I get this out? And I thought I could put my skincare in this one. I just really liked the shape. It was unusual. I mean, they look a bit, a bit nothing when they're empty don't they but there's quite a bit of room in that that's a side profile that's quite wide and then looks like a little handbag it's so cute and you can even hang it you know in the in the bathroom so I thought that was really really sweet and it's like a little set a little matching matching set and cow print I mean like I said those of you who know me how could I resist so they're my new little travel toiletry and makeup bags really happy with those okay and this little um how much should I pay for this one $2.95 little head massage thing why did I buy this just because oh yeah yep 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 Two ninety five. 
Okay, next I bought this beard comb because three of the men in my life have beards. So I bought three of them. I have one each. And this is actually stainless steel. And you can feel the weight in it, you can, that it's good quality. So how does this open? Let's have a look. Okay. How cool is that? And then it folds up. Okay, so that was three ninety five. Little stainless steel beard comb. And I also bought them these beard templates. And one of them has had one of these before, but doesn't know where it is. So I do have to be fair. I bought three of these too, so they could have one each. And what you do is... I don't know if I'm going to put this on properly, but I think you line it up to where you want your beard to begin and end, and you just shave all along there, and you get a nice, neat... Anyway, they'll know how to use them. And these were $2.95. So I thought they were a neat little um, tool to have so that they're... Beards are even and not lopsided. So, yep, two ninety five as I said. Um, the next thing I bought was this. Ugh, this is something I really didn't need. I've got so many things hanging off my keys. The boys are always having a go at me. So many little key chains that you pick up. Whether it's, I think I've got one from an Adele concert. One from um, Crete. One. From, I mean, there are so many hanging off there, and I've just bought another one. And when you see it, you'll know why I couldn't resist this. This was two ninety five. Yep, two ninety five. Look at that. How adorable is that key ring? That's got this cow print, and it's got this. Gorgeous little charm. That charm is gorgeous and it's got like a faux turquoise stone on it as well. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. And there were different ones, but this one with the little turquoise charm was was my favourite. So that was $2.95. And I am going to need a new eyebrow pencil very soon so I decided to try the She Glam pencil and the thing I liked about this one was that it's got the little triangle tip which I find oh my god I'm going to kill myself with these I find a lot easier to use. Okay, so I'm going to shoot it. Wind it up. Just wind it up. And the colour. Okay, so I picked the light brown because of the... All the highlights in my hair. Because the one I'm using now, I've had for a while and I feel like it's a little bit too dark for me so I think that one will be a much nicer colour to use. Yep, happy with the colour of that. Okay, isn't that lovely? Okay, so something that well probably most of you don't know is that I'm really into cake decorating and um, don't do as much of it now as I used to and but I'm really missing it and I'm thinking of you know getting back into it apart from making cakes uh, for family and friends I'm not really 
I'm doing it on a very large scale at the moment but I found a whole section on the website that sold cake decorating accessories so I just bought um, a few small items the first thing I bought was this um, baking mat and this one was $5.95 and they did have different sizes I do have one but it's quite large and I find that when I'm unless I'm you know um, wanting to cover a, a, a big cake like a, or a wedding cake or something with with fondant I really don't need anything um, to be using anything quite so big so I just wanted something a little bit smaller for when I'm making smaller cakes or cupcakes or whatever um, just to roll out fondant and this is great because it's got all your measurements on there which is really really handy and um, this one is 50 centimeters by 40 centimeters but um, as I said there are so many um, different sizes you can get there are smaller ones and there are ones that are, are much bigger too I mean the one I've got is probably three times the size of that and it's just way too big to be using when I'm you know dealing with you know covering little cupcakes um, so I thought and this is silicon and it feels like it, it, it what I like about this it, this has grip so it's going to grip to my bench top without sliding all over the place um, which is one thing I don't like about the other one $5.95 and the other one was really expensive because I actually, all my other gear I actually bought from a cake decorating store. And you can pay an absolute fortune for bits and pieces in those stores. So um, really, really happy with the baking mat. Like I said, that was only $5.95. And the other things I bought... open this up now I've got a lot of these little piping nozzles but this one just appealed to me because it was oh god tell you what the packaging is posing a bit of a challenge today with these items not a bad thing but the thing I loved about these is that they came in their little case and how many I might do I get in this? This was $5.95 as well, which is such a good price. So you get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 17. Little piping nozzles so that you can create all different patterns. Um, what I might actually do, I might actually um, just put up a few pictures of some of my little creations um, just to give you a look at what I've spent a lot of my time doing in the past. So that is great. They're all, all together there in their little case. $5.95. I mean, you pay that for one nozzle anywhere else. And they're stainless steel. So, um, God, what great value. I couldn't believe the value of that. The other thing I bought was, these are also little piping, oh, they're not little piping nozzles, they're huge piping nozzles. And um, they came with the uh, little bags as well. But these... These are like jumbo sized nozzles. And I remember I did one cake and I'll put that that up for you too where I actually um, made it look like a, a bunch of flowers. And I used cupcakes. So every cupcake was, you know, in essence a flower in the, in the bouquet. But these are great because these create all different 
types of flowers and so you're creating one big flower on the cupcake as opposed to little little flowers it just depends what you're going for i guess but these are great and these are stainless steel too and what did i pay for these i paid 8.95 for these 8.95 stainless steel i get two four six eight ten twelve different twelve different I can't believe that you'd get one one in a cake decorating store that size that is unbelievable I'm so happy with those I'll be having some fun cake decorating won't I now I'll just pop up some photos for you all and um, see you on the other end uh, for the last few items in this haul Okay, the next few items are from the men's accessories section and they're actually um, fashion jewellery items and I bought these for um, a couple of young nephews that we have that are into, you know, they're only about 8 and 10 years old and they're into, you know, wearing this particular sort of jewelry so I thought you know they were so so inexpensive so I just grabbed a few items for them and the first one was this sword necklace and it's actually silver and gold toned and it's on a chain the chain is 50 centimeters so it's a good a good length and I thought that was so cool So this one was, how much was this one? This one was $2.95. So that's lovely. They're going to love that. We just It's going to be like a lucky dip. We're just going to hand them all over, all these items over, and they're going to have to share them or, you know, draw straws for the one one that they want the next one and I mean you often see these in um, Indian stores they I mean this one's obviously not real but um, they're like little crystals God I can't get this open it's not even on the cord so this one's actually on a cord and the length is adjustable which is great and it's like a faux crystal I'm sure we've you know you've all seen these before um, this one's a black one so that's what it looks like on that's what it looks like on I won't do it up 
So that's that's really nice. They'll love that. They'll really like that one. So that one that one was 195. So that was a real bargain. The next one I chose is a compass pendant. This one's on a this one's actually on a thicker cord. And this is this cord's longer too. It's supposed to be 70 centimeters. Gee, that doesn't look like 70 centimeters. Well, it might be. But isn't that cool? I thought that was this one was 295. Actually, that I wouldn't even mind one of those on a much longer cord. Yeah. I quite like that one for myself too. I'd wear it on a much longer cord um, though, but that one is really, really nice. $2.95 for that one. And what else did we get? Okay, so these were $1.95 and we bought them one of these each because these, are, these actually have your initial on them. So, you you know, you order them with the appropriate initial. So, we ordered one with an H on it. There's that. And one with an M. Oh, they're quite sweet. That's what it looks like on. Okay. So we got two of those. As I said, they were $1.95. And this was a set of two. Um, faux leather bracelets. One in black and one in brown. And they have a magnetic closure. And I bought these for an older boy, um, and I they, they're supposed to be 21 centimetres long, but they do not look like they're 20. I'll just pull one out. I mean, my bracelets are 19 centimetres long, and as you can see, I've got plenty of room. This is supposed to be 21 centimetres long, which would be way too big for me. Yeah, this is not... I'm going to grab a tape measure. Just give me a sec. Okay. So just from where it begins to where it... As you can see, that's only 19 centimetres long. Oh, Shane, I don't think these are going to fit the person I bought them for. So, they're not magnetic either. They're not magnetic closures. They're supposed to be magnetic closures, but they're not. You have to actually push them and then pull them to undo them. Well, that defeats the purpose, doesn't it? When you think you think you're getting a magnetic closure to make it easy for you to put something on. Hmm. Okay, so not a magnetic closure and not 21 centimeters. So unless your wrist is 19, you that you would normally wear a 19 centimeter bracelet. It's, they're not going to fit. And they're not magnetic. Um, so, yeah. They, they won't be going to the person they were intended for because they won't fit him. So, they might have to go to the, the 8 and 10 year old as well. That's disappointing. But disappointing, I mean, I don't mind, you know, it's just that they're not what they've been advertised as being very naughty okay so 
I don't know whether I mentioned they were two ninety five. Now next I got this ring, and it is stainless steel. This ring. This ring was two dollars ninety five. And these sizes better be right. This looks really, really nice. So this is stainless steel, as I said. It's a band ring. It is two-toned. And it's got a, a rhinestone as well. I might just put it on. Take my ring off. A little bit big, but you'll get the idea it's a really really nice ring 295 stainless steel that's a really really good price it's so lovely the two tones and that little rhinestone no really happy with that one really happy with that one i just hope um it's the right size so that one's lovely happy with that and i also got this set of five rings this is for the our little men um they're five rings oh, they're in a size seven which is apparently the size uh they wear and these are also stainless steel these are all different i'm just going to try and put one on each they don't fit me they're too small for me just about the right size for my pinky. I'll put that one on. Okay. So that's the rings there. You'll probably get a better better idea from the picture. And there's like a silver one that's etched. There's a plain black one. There's a black one. With Roman numerals and silver edging. That one's really nice. And then there's another black one that has um, an edge detail on it. And this one here is actually one of those, you know, the ones that spin, the center spins. Like a fiddle ring. <gasps> How cool is that? All five rings for $4.95 really really happy with those and they're as i said they're all stainless steel okay the next item i purchased and i apologize for the lighting um it's getting later in the day and i know it's gone a bit funny so my apologies for that only a couple more items really to go through so i bought this um baseball cap I just love the color of this baseball cap it's got an R on it um, the person I bought it for his his name starts with an R so it worked for me but um, yeah I just thought it was lovely the colors gorgeous nice and neutral it adjusts at the back too you can make it larger or smaller really good quality really good quality cat and that was only $6.95 now the next item I bought now these were how much were these $5.95 and it's actually a hat rack and this is how it comes and it has Velcro, so what you do is you just open it here, put it over a coat hanger, do it up, and then hang all your hats on there. And I'll just show you one I made earlier. Okay, so there you are. So you just Velcro it onto the bottom of the coat hanger, and it's got these little clips, and you just clip your hats on and hang them in the wardrobe instead of them lying all over the place making a mess 
so this actually holds 10 and that's quite heavy um, you don't have to put 10 on there you can put eight or six or five or three but I do have the 10 hanging on there and as you can see they're they're quite weighty so um, yeah I'm looking forward to being able to put those away so um, as I said did I mention the price I think I did yeah $5.95 and I got two of those because that's how many damn hats we've got lying around the place. Okay, so last item. I know it's been a bit of a mammoth haul. Um, and if you're still with me at this stage, I thank you so much. You don't know how much I appreciate it. But our last item, our very last item. Now This was $15.95. And it's like a... It's described as a storage container. I think you can use this for anything you want, really. But just, I haven't unwrapped it. I'm really, really keen to start using this, to be honest. So, just get all this wrapping off it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, love it. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? The bottom's clear. Hello. Um, it's got these gold trims around the handle. You can pick it up like that. These did come in different colours from memory, but don't quote me. I think they came in a green and a, like a dark grey black colour. But I wanted this one and I purchased this to put in my ensuite um, so that I could put all my... Because I don't, the items I use once or twice daily, I don't like putting away in a cupboard and pulling back out. So I have them sitting on my um, bench there. So I thought, wouldn't that look pretty? I can put that on the bench, on the counter, there, and I can put all my items in it. Um, so... And, and plus, it's going to look so pretty. So I bought one. Um, I, I do want two. But I, they weren't overly cheap. So I thought I'll just try one and see how I go and how much I like it. And then order a second one. And they did come in different shapes too. So you could get square ones um, as well. But I just, the round one just appealed to me. It just looked so much nicer, in my opinion. Um so yeah, really looking forward to, to using that and putting an end to all the chaos in the ensuite. So that is our last item and thank you so much for still being with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe. Um, the second part of this mammoth haul uh, will go up next week and that will be a clothing try on haul so I hope you've enjoyed yourselves I've loved opening all these items with you and sharing them with you I hope you found something you like um, and in the meantime have a wonderful week stay safe and I'll see you all again very soon bye for now